the number one way for students and all readers to learn and understand new vocabulary is through context. Here is a quick clip of that. Leo, as you are reading more challenging books, you'll find that there are going to be words that you can read, but you don't necessarily know what they mean. Mm -hmm. When that happens, you want to do a one, two, three method. One, read around the word. Two, see if you can figure out if it's positive, negative, or neutral. And then third, see if you can replace it with a word that you know. Cool? Right. Okay, so let's try right here for the word feebly. And let's okay. start from grandma's hand. Grandma's hand, waxy, pale, feebly, held the glass, then fell back onto the blank blanket again. Mm -hmm. Keep going. If you think so, if you think you need a little bit more. But her eyes were open wide. She was looking at me, and I saw that she understood everything. Perfect. So one, two, three, you read all around it. And then the second step, positive, negative, or neutral. Do you have an idea about that one? Um, not really. Not really? So we'll just call it neutral. We're not really sure if it's positive or if it's negative. If you had to try to replace it, and it doesn't have to be one word for one word, you can use any words you want, what, what would you, how would you try and replace feebly? Um, like, probably, like, it's weak. Uh, nice. Um, yeah. Cool. Want to try and replace it? Like, just use okay. weak or weekly there? Grandma's hand, waxy pale, weekly held the glass. Go ahead and stop there. How's it sound? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it fits. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it fits, too. Now let's actually check the definition. So go ahead, feel free to look it up. If you just Google it, we can see what comes. Uh, feeble? Yeah. What's it say? And in ways that will have strength or force. So, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Weekly. Nice job, Yeah, That was great. The key to using this one, two, three process is that it's not about getting the word correct. It's about the process. It's about doing it every single time you don't know a word. And sometimes you'll get it right and sometimes you'll get it wrong. It's also a good idea after you do this with your child just to check yourself. Let them go on Google or another online tool and let them find the definition and see how close they are to that definition. Below is a link to our online portal. There you can find all of our feeling and trait vocabulary. You could begin introducing those words to your child and then giving them opportunities to use those words in life and then also to describe what's happening in their books.